A new container terminal is emerging from the River Mersey, thanks to a world-class construction team and the very best of marine engineering. Our challenges on this project have always been about the environment that we find ourselves in. Um, as you can see, even today, the winds are very strong and we've had to deal with significant tidal ranges. Here in Liverpool, the tidal range is up to 10 metres, so it's quite an engineering challenge in order to construct a key wall in, under such circumstances. The team that we have here on site have been first class. They have uh, real dedication and commitment. It just is a fantastic project to be a part of, sometimes a little in awe of what's going on around you. Like most of these big projects, it is a multinational team, it always has to be. The, uh, the contractors in itself are one from Britain and one from, from Holland, so there's a lot of Dutch people on it. But in the Peel team as well, that's, a, that's actually quite multinational as well. It's catching people who are used to these major uh, projects and, and bringing them together. There's a lot of people here, there's a lot of plant on the site, and it's just making sure they're all heading in the right direction all the time. It's a privilege, it's something that's big for Liverpool and to be part of it because it's near home for me, it's really good. I'm a fabricator welder on this project, uh, as you can see, putting in all these round piles and sheet piles to make this wall for, for the big ships to be able to pull in with the big massive load of containers, bringing millions of pounds into my fair city of Liverpool. We all feel part of a family here and we go on, we all work together and with the BAMs and the Van Ord staff and their subcontractors. I've been working in this marine game for 10 years now. A lot of the guys that work in this project, I've already worked with them before. So uh, you meet the same faces, you meet the same people, you have the crack with them. Emotions are a big part of our work. It is a big step forward. Um, uh, we've been uh, working as a team very hard uh, on reaching this stage. And seeing this sand coming in, you, you actually feel the whole side being uplifted. It's been good to get to this far. It's nice to see the boats coming in, backfilling. We can actually see the finishing line now. whole team I think are delighted that we've reached this point. There's three different shifts working all different kinds of hours, there's a lot of men on this project and you only get to see half of them because you're always on different shifts. So there's a lot, a lot of team efforts gone into this one. Bringing in the dritter today and uh, start to fill up the inside uh, with sand and uh, we can see the, the seabed is rising and uh, we're just putting piles after piles so we just we are almost competing. Who, who, who will be the first at the end, uh, the dredger or the or the rig? It's just an amazing milestone for the project to have sand finally coming in from the Mersey and getting placed in uh, the Liverpool Two project. It's been a long time to get to this point, and to finally see land being created is is quite emotional. And we'll get what the port really wants, it's a container terminal and it's for the ships to come in and deliver boxes. And that moment won't be long now, it'll come. Liverpool 2 is set to transform Liverpool and the northwest of England. But the new terminal will have a much wider impact for UK shipping and logistics. An impact that will be felt for generations to come. <laughs>